Get enough leverage in the air. That's the key here. Flip. And then we're rotating into a yacht. Really what I want to do today is work on going through like an inverted yaw gap. Um, I've done this before, um, you know, and other tricks and stuff, but today I just want to focus on that. It's technical and I don't know, it just seems like a fun trick to do. So I know I'm going to be a little shaky. Um, it's a little windy, but let's get into it and see what we could kind of come up with some pointers and all that. And hopefully it turns into a fun video. If you like these videos, leave me a like, leave me a comment. I'm gonna start picking up um, and doing some more of these videos just because it's getting warmer and stuff. So uh, appreciate it and it'll help other people find this type of content. So here we go. God, this feels so weird. Definitely glad my quad feels like it did before I flew it. So, yeah, I'm just a little puddle right there. So, what I was thinking about was doing was using this gap. Just because it's easier, but there's a puddle right there. So, let's try to find a different one. This is my trusty gap that I usually go through to do tricks and stuff. Eh, let's just use that. Kind of want to change it up, but I haven't flown for a while, so whatever. So... There we go. So the first thing, I'll, let's just go through the thing and see if we can do it. Done it before in this gap, but it might just be hard this time around. So, oh, there we go. So that's basically what the trick I wanted to do. It's not a full yaw spin, but hey, it's a half one. And yeah, we could just work on that. So. Here we go. So the first thing you want to do is basically like flip through the gap, obviously. Find a gap and just flip through it. Get the timing down. Do it a few more times just from a timing aspect. Um, and then once you kind of got that down, we can add the yaw aspect to it. So here we go. Let's do a few more. You, you want to really get a cool shot. Wait for it come into it, right? You don't want to go through it and then flip because it just looks really, really bad. So once you kind of master that aspect of it, so flip, get back into it, don't hit yourself or hit some something else like a tree. <laughs> um, let me just check my surroundings here. Um, and then what we want to do is basically apply a yaw movement. And what I want to do is one, a 180 yaw. So how we know we do a 180 yaw is that we'll face the tree again. So here we go. Flip, and that's a 180. And we're facing the object again. And why that's cool is that you can kind of incorporate it in different moves. So, so that's all you have to do is just be patient, flip at the apex, and then slowly rotate into it with a yaw. You don't want to do that, see? <laughs> That was funny. You don't want to do that. See how rusty I am? Um, and I feel like I hit like the trunk of the tree. So you don't want to do that. So let's try this again. Flip. And I did it again. So that's fun. All right, so let's do this again. So flip. That was a good one. So once you kind of master that is the key here is getting the flip down from a timing aspect and then don't get too carried away with the yaw. Just do it slowly and you'll be fine. All you want to do is get leverage. Get enough leverage in the air. That's the key here. Flip. And then we're rotating into a yaw. And I know someone's going to ask me, so I'll just answer it. Um, I do run about like a 15 degree tilt or so, maybe even a little less than that. Flip, yaw. Concentrate on the 180 yaw, because that's, that's gonna be a little bit easier from like a shot aspect. Let's bring him back in. Uh, ugh. Look, look what I was doing with the battery. 
This is insane. I was doing that trick with this battery hanging off like that. Um, but <laughs> it's pretty fun. But anyways, uh, yeah, if you like these videos, um, give me a like, leave me a comment, um, subscribe if you, if you want to see more of this type of content. This is what I do. Um, so uh, hopefully you guys learned something. It was helpful. And, you know, you guys go get out there and, and, and do some flying cool. yourself. I do want to mention that I was sent this book and I was sent this a few weeks ago. Um, and this book is just another form on how to learn how to fly. Christian did a great job explaining some of the details. I'm mentioning this book. It's awesome. If you're a reader, we all learn in different ways. So um, I do want to mention this and I appreciate him sending it. And that's great to see like people in the hobby, you know, just try to get other people flying in the air. I think that's that's what our hobby is about and just getting people up in the air and flying. I know it's very helpful for me when I first started flying. So this is awesome to see. Um, I'll leave a link of this book in the description just in case anyone's interested, but pretty awesome job. I mean, this thing is high quality. I kept it in the wrapper and stuff just because I don't want to, you know, get it dirty, but awesome to see and I appreciate it. And uh, Keep flying, everybody. See you guys in the next one. Peace.